Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGB and it's not just any day, it's early access day. But don't click off this video, there is gameplay. Just don't cringe when you see me flip over to a Moxfield screen. Don't worry. There will be gameplay. It will be in early access. You see, I'm recording this intro before early access because I'm super limited on time. There's a video on Covert Go 2 if you want all the details as to why. So because I only have access to early access at certain hours, I'm recording your intros now and there might not be an outro and that's fine this is fine we're making it work today so today's first deck for early access is going to focus on being a chrome host seed shark win con baby this is a two and a blue for a two four flying phyrexian shark at rare whenever you cast a non-creature spell incubate x where x is that spells mana value that means create an incubator token with x plus one plus one counters on it and you can spend two to transform the artifact and it transforms into a zero zero phyrexian artifact creature a lot of people looking down on incubate not so sure it's good i don't know man there are two huge incubate cards in this deck that i'm excited about chrome host seed shark is one of them i think three mana for a two four is already a pretty good start and if you're going to play that on turn three the opponent has to figure out what to do about it and then there is a sunfall four of them we're gonna run four of these new card it's a board wipe but it's not just a board wipe it's a board wipe and maybe a massive body it's three and a white white to exile all creatures then you incubate x where x is the number of creatures exiled this way hit four creatures then you have a four four just waiting there to put two mana into and it can turn right into a creature and attack the turn you create it these things normally get around go for the throat they get around board wipes and sorcery speed removal from the opponent they might get around cut down i think those are pretty good incubator tokens if i'm being honest now looking at the rest of the deck we're gonna board wipe a little bit a, a bit much brotherhood's end goes perfectly with the seed shark because it does not kill the seed shark farewell one copy can't hurt too badly we've got some removal i've got two fading hopes they can not only save our seed shark before a sunfall they can also keep us alive i've got two elspeth's smite one and a white for three damage to target attacking or blocking creature if that creature would die this turn you exile it instead usually this effect is uh two damage and two damage is too narrow it also doesn't usually come with an exile clause so I'm wondering, is Elspeth's Smite the white lightning bolt we've all been waiting for? Because it wasn't healing solve, was it? Then we have four fires of victory to kill larger things and soul partitions to stall larger things. Memory deluge for the card advantage. A bank buster because it's bank buster. We've also got the Planeswalkers, the actual wing cons of this Jeskai control deck. Chandra Hope's Beacon is a new one I'm excited to try out. But then we also have Jace the Perfected Mind, Teferi, and four copies of the wandering emperor no counter spells uh, i find that when you counter stuff in early access other creators get salty they get mad they can't handle the counter spells so for early access reasons no counters if you want to add some counters to this deck you can cut the fading hopes maybe i'm not sure those might be necessary in best of one for the speed i don't usually like running fading hope but i like the idea of trying to protect my seed shark a little bit but yeah uh counter spells might have to make their way into the deck and elspeth might it might be better than I even think it is. Uh, so we'll see. Surge of Salvation is another new card that I don't have in the deck that might even fit in a control build. Um, well, you'll see it in a few other decks, but look that one up if you want to. Surge of Salvation. Overall, hoping to stall out the opponent's aggressive and board flooding plan and then torture them with Planeswalkers and make a whole bunch of Incubator tokens and put Sharks back on the menu so like i said there probably won't be an outro as i try to record all this ahead of time i've got to run to the airport as soon as this is over so i'm going to tell you right now you're cool thank you for watching this video as always i will see you in the next one now let's dive in let the sharky nonsense begin on the draw two sharks and a smite and a sunfall will keep it shipwreck marsh What are you up to? Grixis. Plenty of Grixis still lurking around. Fable. It's a deck. It's a card. Wandering Emperor. No, we need land. Only land is acceptable. Thank you. Let's drop a shark. Make the opponent deal. I'm gonna start incubating. 
You wouldn't like me when I'm incubating. No discards. I'm in trouble. That sushi at the blazing sky, you say. Okay. Here's a land. And go. Memory deluge into sunfall looking good. We'll take that four. Mana open is not good. So let's try memory deluge with some incubation. See if the opponent counters or kills. They kill the shark. They still have mana open for a counter if they have it. So let's take the farewell. We have five lands here. Are we going to draw a land in our top two? I definitely can't guarantee it. So I think I'll take a land. I could regret this a lot because Wandering Emperor is really good. Nah, I'm taking the Emperor. Forget that. No, no fear. Speaking of fear, are we going for the Sunfall? Right now the reflection doesn't copy anything. It doesn't get any value. And we do have Wandering Emperor. And we do have Memory Deluge. Do we try to stay patient? I think we do. I think the Wandering Emperor can draw a counter if they have it. Smite can also be useful. Okay. Let's try this. Interesting that they attack into the Incubator token. We know they've got tricks. I hope you're ready to lose. Can I exile the blazing sky? They go for the throat, their own blazing sky. So they really need these. They really need these treasures. So that's important to note. Because there's a few things we could do. We could Elspeth smite this. And then when it dies, it still gets exiled. I think that might be an Atraxa. So that's what we're going to try to do. No counter spell. Feels like they're an Atraxa deck. Okay. Do we play a Jace here? I think we do. Let's go with a plus. Actually, we could have a 5-5 five five here and play a shark. Pretty good. All right, let's go for shark. Put a counter on shark. Activate incubator token and attack. And see who the aggressor is. Another one telling me it's another one. And there is the white source. This is Atroxa, I believe. Man, do we exile all creatures then? I mean, we don't want this to die. We need to keep it from dying. How do we do that? Uh, if we just pass, I think we can buy time. We can keep the seed shark as a 3-5 so it can Strength just block and bounce. And then we can use Memory Deluge to dig value while we wait. Time can be on our side, even against Atroxa. Yep, no spells. So this gives us Memory Deluge. Incubation. We find Soul Partition, which is perfect. I'll grab another Emperor. All the Exile effects seem to be very useful. Okay, looking good. Looking very good. Let's power up. And pressure. We've got the edge in this fight. Taking it all down to one. All right, that's a chase. And we shrink reflection. Scooping it up. All right. Got to shut those Atraxa gamers down when you can. Incoming transmission. 
Cool kids, come in, cool kids. You're cool so you can hear this. We don't have much time. Join me at... 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 Covert Go Blue HQ. Follow the coordinates on your screen to Covert Go Blue HQ. Covert Go Blue HQ is your ultimate destination for everything CGB. Get your play mats. Get your shark tokens. And get the first look at all new merchandise that CGB releases. There's even more that's on the way. Gear up with the only merch that's 100% certified by the one in Best of One. At the coolest place for the cool kids, CoolStuffInc.com. Head to CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB. I'll see you at Covert Go Blue HQ. That's Covert Go Blue HQ. It's a slow hand, but it checks out. Stormcarved Coast? We could match them, but I'll play the Sundown Pass. If we play Fires next turn, we can do it pain-free. And we are staring at each other with a Jeskai deck. Okay, even in early access, Matchmaker is fine. Let's wait. Let's play at instant speed. Mm-hmm. People think we're a counterspell deck, even if we aren't, so let's take advantage. Passing with seven in hand. Let's go for Memory Deluge. Our opponent does like counterspells. All right. Um, pass and go for Emperor. Full stuck on lands. Whoever breaks the stalemate first has a pretty good advantage. Can you hit a land? Oh yeah, easy. Just threw that off the top and think. Okay. Would you like to counter this as well? No. Crush. All right. I will make a two-two. Battle, then guide it like water. Volcanic Spike, 3 damage. And now do the thing with the hand, put a card on bottom and draw. Back to wandering. May Land off the top is nice. Swing. Shark. Aren't you fun? Let's see what you resolve on me. Uh-huh. No blocks. That'll be a frustrating one. However, it is five mana for no board presence. If they leave the dragon on the field, we can kill it. Not only that, we can make a big incubator token. So they'll probably bounce it. If they bounce it, they're tapped out. We get to attack them. We might even get to play Chandra. Chandra can be attacked, of course but not for lethal damage. Okay, they left it on the battlefield, huh? Seems like a good time for this. Some fall off the top, swing. More lands would be nice. I'm definitely feeling the lack of them. Invasion of Tarkir. How much damage to what? Two dragons. Okay, they're all, they are a dragon deck. They definitely, clearly, a dragon deck. Uh, very big problem we have here. Let's see if they leave this Zergo and Ojitai on the battlefield or not. They are at 14, though, and they keep attacking battles. Should make this interesting. The card in hand is Maniform Hellkite. The battle on the field transforms into a 4-4 flying trample whenever a dragon attacks 2 damage to any target creature. Okay, they pull back... They pull back the Zergo and Ojitai. Interesting. We draw... Land. Chandra, huh? Don't think Chandra's good enough. But we can play another Seed Shark. Can power up the incubator token and swing. 
and we're trying to clock them. If they go for Zergo Ojitai, we have a block. Remember, it has Hexproof when it enters the battlefield, so we can't Fading Hope Zergo and Ojitai. Wouldn't that have been nice? Okay, here it comes. Please do not have another way to kill the shark. Please don't. War toughness is pretty solid. They've hit all the land drops, but they've also had two anticipates now, so you have to guess the cards in hand are useful. Lock. All right, to Fading Hope or not to Fading Hope? Tough call. Tough call. Bouncing our own shark means we can play it again next turn, and it was a good roadblock this turn, but... Oof. Man, if we let it go next turn, they can definitely do the attack, but at that point, they're very low. I'm going for it. I'm going for the Fading Hope. We get the Scry, we get the Incubator token, it could be relevant. Elspeth Smite. Doesn't work on Ojitai. Doesn't work very well at all here. Good Scry. <laughs> Good Scry. Good Scry indeed. All right. To each of up to two targets. X damage to each of up to two targets. I can deal five to face. can deal five to face. Yeah, that's got to be the plan, right? This is on the battlefield. We could Sunfall to get rid of it. But if they have another one, it's a disaster. And they very well could. Let's try to set up for the burn victory. See if it all falls apart here. Valorous dance. No! You had that the whole time? Alright. Did we get Make Disappeared in this game twice? And here is Warcraft. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, they're going for lethal, aren't they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Two. Okay, that spite might save us if they go for lethal here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four plus Yeah. They're going for it. Oh my goodness. Killing my creatures, but they don't know about the Chandra and they're empty handed. Eight damage. We're at thirteen. Wasn't lethal. I mean, I think they could have, if they had gone face and had another three, I think we would have been at one. So not quite dead. And now it's all up to Chandra. Each of up to two targets, that includes face. 100% includes face. Do they have a spell pierce? We have to win this fight. Ping. Toast. How many of you thought about Chandra going face when you evaluated this card? Wow! Opponent goes first. This hand is keepable. One bank buster. They dirtle. I will dirtle. That's not a threat, it's a promise. Tanker Bloom. Okay. Hmm. Do we bank bust? They just blow it up, right? That's not good. So I guess we smite. Bust banks later. Pew! It's a little off curve. But it's fine. I 
again? What the heck is going on here? I guess we fire as a victory. Who goes around canker blooming like this? When it enters the battlefield, fire exchange gain menace. Other fire exchange at plus one plus one. Sacrifice an artifact or creature to return this to the battlefield. Okay. Saving the soul partition. Don't want this canker bloom coming back and messing with my banky. What the heck is this? Mono canker bloom? The heck nonsense is this? All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna memory deluge. We're gonna find another white source. We're also going to find, opponent probably thinks I have wandering emperor here, or they're playing around smite again, but we're probably also gonna find another white source, Glissa. okay? Let's go cards, white source. All right, we have to top deck a sunburst, but I'll take this to fairy. Nope, failed. Uh, soul partition Glissa. Fading hope something? We can play a tap land here. Now they attack all. Do I take this hit? I don't think so. It's getting to be a lot. Yeah, there's the sunfall. I said sunburst, that's why it didn't show up. All right, deploy some stuff so I can drop this bomb on you. Yeah. Although I kind of want the canker bloom to be honest, my poor bank buster. But now nah, we do this. Maybe the canker bloom will blow up the incubator token. I'm a pretty big fan of the incubator tokens. I, I feel like I find a lot of uses for them. Like here, I get to play this to fairy, and I have this thing that I can bring alive to defend. Don't feel bad when you lose. I end up another mystery solved. And once this third, third canker bloom is gone, maybe, just maybe you guys, just maybe we can bust the bank. Shield ring. Of course. I hate that that thing hits planeswalkers. 4-5 means fires can't kill it. Soul partition can set it back. We can also spend this turn on memory deluge. Let's play the seed shark. Let's play the bank buster. Thank you, Dave. And pass. So, cards and graveyards. Seven, not eight. When there are eight, this thing can transform. Okay, they have enough to transform it. I guess they have to put this on the stack. It's activated as a sorcery. Which means we can blow it out with a soul partition. So I'm going to take the damage. I'm gonna be patient. Oh, they're not doing it? Yeah, this is activate as a sorcery. Okay, in this case, I'll draw. Jeez. Memories. So we can get up to enough for fires to do it? No, we can't. No, we can't. They might be waiting for me to play something else for them to kill. We can draw and then fires. That does it. All right, so let's pass and see what they do. Alright, draw. Remember, it's activate only as a sorcery. That's value. <laughs> when you know, you know. 
CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of me, CGB, and you can get my unique Dragon Rider token and 5% off your entire order by using the code CGB5 at checkout. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this sweet dragon token. If you need singles for constructed or kitchen table play, and you want to pick up sealed product or the latest magic accessories, remember to use the code CGB5 at checkout for 5% off and get my Dragon Rider token. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock.